front of the mirror at his old dance studio, the familiar scent of sweat and floor wax bringing back a flood of memories. At 28, he was no longer the fresh-faced newcomer to Prism Palace. Years of late nights and rigorous dancing had taken their toll, and though he was still in excellent shape, Louis knew he couldn't keep up this pace forever. As he stretched, preparing for the advanced contemporary dance class he'd enrolled in, Louis reflected on his journey. The go-go boy life had given him confidence, financial stability, and a sense of belonging. But lately, he'd been feeling an itch, a desire for something more. The class began, and Louis lost himself in the movement. This wasn't the provocative, crowd-pleasing dancing he did at the club. This was art, expression, storytelling through motion. As he executed a complex series of turns, Louis felt a spark of excitement he hadn't experienced in years. After class, the instructor, Mariana, approached Louis. You've got real talent, she said. Your technique needs polishing, but there's something special in the way you move. Have you ever considered choreography? Honestly, I've thought about it, but I never knew how to start. Well, consider this your start. I'm putting together a showcase for emerging choreographers next month. Why don't you create a piece for it? The offer was both thrilling and terrifying. Louis had always had ideas for routines, even occasionally suggesting modifications to the sets at Prism Palace. But creating an entire piece for a professional showcase, that was a whole different level. I, I'd love to. Thank you for the opportunity. Over the next few weeks, Louis threw himself into his new project with a passion that surprised even him. He cut back on his shifts at the club, using his savings to fund more classes and workshops. His small apartment became a creative hub, with music constantly playing as he experimented with different movements and concepts. The transition wasn't always smooth. Louis struggled to break free from the sensual, crowd-pleasing style he'd perfected over the years. His first attempts at choreography felt stilted, too focused on individual impressive moves rather than telling a cohesive story. Frustrated after a particularly difficult rehearsal, Louis called Cheng. His old mentor listened patiently as Louis vented his doubts and fears. Listen, kid. You're trying to erase your past instead of using it. Your experiences, all of them, are what make you unique as an artist. Don't run from that. Embrace it. Those words stuck with Louis. The next day, he scrapped his entire routine and started fresh. This time, he allowed himself to incorporate elements of his club dancing, blending them with the new techniques he'd learned. The result was raw, emotional, and unlike anything he'd seen before. As the showcase approached, Louis found himself spending more time in the dance world and less at Prism Palace. He attended workshops, networked at industry events, and even assisted Mariana with some of her classes. It felt like he was rediscovering his love for dance all over again. The night of the showcase arrived, and Louis was a bundle of nerves. As he peeked out from behind the curtain, he was shocked to see familiar faces in the audience. Chang was there, along with some of his co-workers from the club. Even Alex had come, offering a supportive smile when he caught Louis's eye. When it was his turn, Louis took a deep breath and stepped onto the stage. The lights dimmed, the music started, and he began to move. His piece told the story of his journey, the excitement of discovery, the lure of the spotlight, the struggle with identity, and finally, the emergence of his true self. As he danced, Louis felt more alive than he had in years. He wasn't just performing, he was communicating, expressing parts of himself he'd never been able to put into words. When the music faded and he struck his final pose, there was a moment of silence before the audience erupted into applause. Backstage after the show, Louis was swarmed with congratulations. Mariana hugged him tightly, whispering, I knew you had it in you. 
Chang clapped him on the back, pride shining in his eyes. Even some of the established choreographers in attendance came to express their admiration for his unique style. As the adrenaline of the performance faded, Louis found himself at a crossroads. He knew he couldn't continue splitting his time between the club and his new pursuits. It was time to make a choice. Later that night, as he sat in his apartment surrounded by dance notes and costume sketches, Louis made his decision. He would give his notice at Prism Palace. It was time to hang up his go-go boots and fully commit to his new path. The realization was bittersweet. The club had been his home, his safety net for so long. But as he looked at the positive reviews of his showcase performance, at the business cards from industry professionals interested in working with him, Louis felt a new kind of excitement building. He was no longer just Louis the go-go boy or Rico the performer. He was Louis the choreographer, the artist, the storyteller. As he began to plan his next piece, Louis realized that this wasn't an ending at all. It was just the beginning of a whole new adventure. Thank you for watching until the end. Your dedication to our content is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment to show your support. Your engagement means the world to us. See you in our next adventure.